Welcome back to Joystick News. In this video, we'll be discussing the slobbers in Dead Island 2 and how to take them down quickly and efficiently. But first, let's talk about the game itself. The bright lights and nice sights of Los Angeles have given way to the undead and destruction in Dead Island 2, and Dambuster Studios is taking it up a notch with the inclusion of apex zombies, including the disgusting mess of a monster, the slobber. What are slobbers in Dead Island 2? Slobbers are disgustingly swollen monstrosities that have no regard for personal space or hygiene. They are a ranged threat from afar and usually filled with caustic bile that they puke all over the slayer and the surroundings. It can be hard to take them down, much less in a group, but there are ways to make the fight more manageable. How to defeat slobbers in Dead Island 2 Approaching a slobber for close-up combat is a necessity for survival. Keep these tips in mind whenever a slobber is in the way of progression in Dead Island 2. Slobbers are resistant to blunt and projectile damage and can be immune to other types of damage. Exploit its weaknesses to sharp, shock, and bleed damage to bring it down quickly. Avoid stepping or staying in the puke for prolonged periods of time, as it can cause damage over time. Getting close to the slobber will force it to stop puking and engage in clumsy melee combat. Block its attacks and return the favor to bring it down quickly. Keep track of the weapons in the arsenal, and make full use of those modded for sharp or bleed damage to make short work of any slobber that is on its own. Adjust your approach accordingly for other variants like Firestorm and Putrefied Slobbers. Conclusion Dead Island 2 is set to launch on April 21st for PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X, S. With the inclusion of Apex Zombies, the game is set to be a challenge. But with these tips on how to defeat slobbers in Dead Island 2, you'll be well equipped to take them down quickly and efficiently. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more gaming content from Joystick News.